This video will demonstrate how to update a MetPlus use case that uses a deprecated wrapped metconfig file so it can run using version 6.0 of the MetPlus wrappers. Details about this upgrade, including how to tell if a use case needs to be updated, can be found in the MetPlus user's guide in the MetPlus release information chapter under the MetPlus wrappers upgrade instructions. For this demo, I am using an application called vimdiff to compare two files for differences and a text editor to keep track of the differences. On the left side is the user-defined wrapped metconfig file that was defined in the gridstat config file variable in the use case config file. On the right is the default met configuration file that can be found in the share met config directory in the met installation location. The paths to the files to compare can be found in the MetPlus errors log when the use case is run using MetPlus version 6.0. Vimdiff highlights lines that contain differences in purple, with the text that differs highlighted in orange. Text following two forward slashes are comments that are not read by the config file parser. These differences can be ignored. Values in the old user config file that are set by an environment variable should not require any changes unless that environment variable was created by the user. The MetPlus config variable that controlled this value will set the appropriate environment variable in the updated wrapped metconfig file provided with MetPlus wrappers. The deprecated environment variables that do not require any changes are listed in the MetPlus error log output. Lines that are only found in one of the files are highlighted in blue. These lines can also be ignored. Sometimes tools used to flag differences can get confused and require a closer look to find differences. Here we see that the value for cat thresh is set to NA while the default value is an empty list. To preserve the settings, we will need to set this variable in the MetPlus use case configuration file. I will copy the variable and its value from the user defined wrapped metconfig file and paste it into the text file. The rest of the values in this block are either the same in both or only found in one file. White space differences can also be ignored. Here we see that the value for the CDF bins variable is set to a value that differs from the default. The CDF bins variable is a member of the Climo CDF dictionary because it is found within the curly braces for that variable. I need to copy the dictionary variable as well so I know the context of the variable to set. I added a closed curly brace at the end so it is clear to me that any other variables I add later are not members of the Climo CDF dictionary. Here's another difference. There are multiple variables inside the output flag dictionary that differ from the defaults. These are very important as they control the files that are created by the use case. The NC pairs values are also very important as they control the netcdf output that is generated. Differences in the version variable can be ignored. I will open the MetPlus user's guide so I can find the names of the MetPlus configuration variables that control them. Click on the Python wrappers chapter, then gridstat because I'm updating a gridstat use case, then met configuration. This section shows how the MetPlus config variables correspond to the met config settings. The MetPlus variables are typically named starting with the tool name, or gridstat, followed by the variable name, or the dictionary name and the variable name for dictionary variables. This is not always the case, and some Met variables may not have a corresponding MetPlus variable, so it is a good idea to refer to this document to find the correct variable name. Click on the pull-down to view the wrapped Met config file that is provided with the MetPlus wrappers. Variables that are controlled by a MetPlus config variable will be commented out with two forward slashes, followed by an environment variable with a name that begins with MetPlus underscore on the next line.
I'm looking for the cat thresh variable, which we can see here is set by Matplos. When searching for variables, make sure that you're in the correct section for GridStat. Searching for Matplos cat thresh in the tables below, I see that the GridStat cat thresh variable should be used. So I will copy this. Cat thresh is a list variable. The square brackets and semicolon found in the met config are not required in the met plus config value, so I can set the value to NA. The entire Climo CDF dictionary is configurable through met plus. The Climo CDF CDF bins variable is controlled by gridstat Climo CDF bins. The CI alpha variable does not have a corresponding met plus config variable to control it. In this case, the met config overrides variable can be used to set this variable. Grid stat met config overrides equals and then paste the contents from the met config file verbatim. More information about this can be found in the configuration chapter of the Met Plus user's guide under overriding unsupported Met configuration variables. Now that we have the list of Met Plus config variables to set, we can paste them into the metplus config file. Be sure to unset the gridstat config file variable so the version provided with the metplus wrappers is used. I like to comment out this valuable first until I can confirm that my use case produces the same results as before. If the use case produces different results than it did using an older version of metplus, review the differences between the files again to make sure nothing was missed. You can also run the use case with log level equals debug to check that the environment variable values are set correctly. If you continue to have issues or would just like someone to review your updates to make sure you didn't miss anything, please create a new discussion thread on the Matplus GitHub Discussions forum. Thanks for watching.